doing? Good, how are you? Well, congratulations on season seven. What does that mean to you? You know, I was, I'm always telling the kids, because I was their age when I was on Twin Peaks, and it was like a big success. And the perspective that I can bring, how rare this is, what a lightning in, in the bottle kind of thing. So I'm just very grateful and thankful to have been on this show for this long, and had so much fun the entire time. Being through two successful shows like this, is there a moment where you're going to be like, okay, I'm ready? Or are you just very thankful to still be in the game? Um, no, I'm very thankful to be in the game, but I've now stepped behind the camera. So I've directed a bunch of Riverdales, just directed my first feature film this last summer. I'm writing and producing. So it's like I love being in front of the camera, but I'm really like stepping behind and um, wanting to be a part of making my own content. So that's been a great evolution. When all is said and done, are you going to miss the burgers and the milkshakes and everything that comes along with Pops? No, I'm going to miss the people. I'm going to miss my, my friends and my, um, the crew. Um, that's, you know, you make your connections of the people that you're in, with, in the trenches with. Um, a lot of times I go back and I watch shows that I've been on, and I'm like, I don't even remember filming that, but I remember the people, and I remember our stories and our connections. So. Well, speaking of the people, a lot of the parents have moved on, and they're not even a part of the show anymore. Yeah. So what does it feel to be like the parent the last, last standing? standing parent. <laughs> yeah. I know. Um, it's just fun because Alice is hilarious and fun to play, and they always have such great stuff for her to do. So just very grateful and thankful to be in a part of it this entire time. So I do miss my adult friends, though. I was going to say. I do, yeah. <laughs> do they ever chime in and ask you what's going on in the show? What's oh, coming yeah, on? no, we constantly call each other, text each other. How are you? What's going on? And they're like, what's going on in Riverdale? I'm like, I can't tell you. I don't know. It's <laughs> you lost that privilege when you <laughs> left. <laughs> no. Exactly. I mean, looking back at the entire six-year experience with Riverdale, what are you most proud of? Mm. I mean, I'm, I, I don't know if it's proud, but I'm just thankful for my relationship with Lily. You know, she plays my daughter, and we've done a lot of scenes together, and we've supported each other through it all and been there for each other for our own mental health and really um, bonded over that. So I'm very thankful for that. That's beautiful. What has it been like kind of watching her grow into fame on the show that you guys share together? You know, I knew that she would do it with grace and power and wisdom, and she's absolutely done what I thought, and she's, you know, she's already, like, producing her own things. Like, you know, hands off. She's she's killing it. So um, it's just watching all of them go through this, like, just immediate thrown into fame and how they navigate it, and I think they're all doing such a good job. Amazing. Thank you yeah. so much for your Thank time. Thank you, of course.